Happy Saturday. How you doing? Well, I'm really going to try not to take too long here besides, but I don't want to go over my hour and a half, 90 minutes, you know, devoting time to YouTube over the course of a week. So I want to try to stay within my guidelines. Oh, I heard a few things. Yeah, a few things came my way yesterday. I won't get into all of it. Just the shit I found the most interesting. First, oh, and yes, yes, I did get all my grass cut yesterday and trimmed up areas I couldn't get at with the lawnmower with the weed whacker. And I'll save the lawnmower for last. This, you know, they say with some people now I've heard it all with Java. Believe me, you never hear it all. There'll always be something even more batshit crazy that comes out of his fucking mouth. Just wait, it'll happen. Like I say with Jarba, it's never a matter of if it'll happen, if he will say it. It's only a matter of when it'll happen and when he will say it. Starts out with, uh, I guess he still can't find that starter. Huh? That elusive, one-of-a-kind starter for the Belair. It's too bad that guy Leonard Nimoy isn't still around. Remember him? Spark on Star Trek. Then later on, I forget if it was the 70s, he had a show in search of, he went in search of, you know, Bigfoot. Walkness Monster, Jimmy Hoffa, the Holy Grail. Too bad he ain't around with that show. Maybe you could help Jabba find that elusive, hard to find starter for the Bel Air. They're pretty common, small block Chevy starter. You know? I mean, I don't know about you, but when my friends were all the same. Even to this day, if it happened. You know, if the starter would go on my Acadia, I'd take it out. I know I'm going to have to put a new one in anyway, so it's got to come out, right? I'd take it out. i go see my friend Ray Mar you know, Ray Charles at Ray's Automotive. There have been times in my life I went to AutoZone. The little things that was closer and there wasn't going to be that much money. and You know, save me a trip. Going over to Ray's. Uh, some things that you exchange, you pay a court charge. You know, alternators, starters. You know, they want the casing back. That's all they want is the casing. Everything inside gets rebuilt and they sell it as a remanufactured. A little bit cheaper to me. I, to me, they're just as good. The only old thing you have is the casing. All the internals are all new, just as if it's a brand new one. The only thing is, the casing isn't a brand new manufactured metal casing. What's the fucking difference as far as I'm concerned? And you save a few bucks, you know. You know you got to replace it. That's why you're going to get a new one. I take it with me. Yes, it's possible that in the manufacturing packaging process, they could put the wrong part in the wrong box with the wrong part number. Take it out. Look at it right there. Oh, yeah, it's the same exact one. Okay, thank you. You pay for it. You bring it home. You leave your old one there. If you don't, now you're going to pay a court charge. At that time, it was 10 bucks. I don't know what it is today. You know? So why do that? Then go home. Then take it out. Have to go back to get your $10 back. Why? you got to put it in anyway. you got to take it out anyway. Take the fucking thing with you. But he don't want to get his fat ass under that fucking car to take it off. You know, he ain't going to take it off. That starter's never going to get put in. Like, his brakes never got fixed. Like, that thing will never fucking run. He says, oh, people say it don't run. It runs. No, no, no. You burn out starters cranking and cranking just to get it to kick and fire up. And when it does, it only stays sputtering and shaking and rattling 15 20 seconds and it dies so let's face it that thing's all fucked up sounds like it's running on seven cylinders the valve blast is all fucked up the timing that distributor ain't right i heard too he's got more problems with his distributor you know do we really think the starter's gonna get he knows why why you know why put a starter in it when he knows even if he does get it in which he won't it's not gonna run Yeah, give some content, you know, and, uh, <laughs> anyway, can't find a starter. Okay. You know, small block Chevy, man, everything from that 262, 283, 327, 350, small block 400. You know, a lot of things are very interchangeable, very interchangeable from heads to intakes to water pumps, you know, heads, <laughs> exhaust manifold. It's so... That's the one thing about, you know, that Chevy small block, what makes them so great. They're very versatile. They're very interchangeable. You can do so much with them. Guys are running 283s with, you know, 327 fuel-y heads, the 198s, the 202s. You can do so much with those things. Pots are really easy to find, new and used. But he's the only one that can't find a starter. 
that he should have had one. He said, oh, yeah, I should have had one, even showed a picture of it. Look, I got my new starter, but then suddenly he doesn't have a starter. Why is he looking for a starter if he already got one? But you know how Jabber is, all right? Anyway. Oh, and by the way, yesterday, yesterday I did cut all my grass. Did I mention it? Yes, I did get all my grass cut, and I'm saving grass cutting and lawnmowers for last because this is so far the best thing I've heard. <laughs> Any of you saw it. And he said, even at that store, he's, he's done it before when he's gone to stores. He starts to like try to argue with the person at, you know, at the counter. You're lucky, Java. Here, you get away with shit. You know, face to face, man. You're going to run into the wrong person in the store one of these days, whether it's a customer next to you in line that you get cocky with, or someone at the counter you get cocky with, and that person may be having a bad day at work. He's already thinking about, you know, leaving that job. He says, I'm not going to take any whip from this fat fuck that goes over the counter and waves you out on your fat ass. You know, be careful. What you get away with on here, you're not going to get away with in the real fucking world when you're face-to-face -face encounters with people. See, what I say here, people know me. I got no problem saying it. I do say shit to people's face. You know. And I'm not very worried about what happens. What happens, happens. You know. Anyway, says then, he's in a, some auto parts place. He's giving the guy a hard time because the guy... Talking about transmissions, he's there to get a starter, but he gets all involved and you don't want to argue over transmission. Well, yeah, it's called a, what is it? It's got a two-speed power glide. Well, they call it a turbo glide, but you know, this really is a power glide. And the guys aren't, he says, the guys aren't even saying anything. He says, you know, the guy didn't even ask him what kind of transmission he has. Because really the transmission's got nothing to do with a fucking starter. Because the kick-out gear... When the tail shaft of the fucking starter is engaging the flywheel. Nothing to do with the fucking transmission. <laughs> it's engaging the flywheel. That's on the fucking engine. See, but driver had to bring the transmission. Well, as a two, as a power glide. You know, but people call it a, a, a turbo glide. And, a tur and, and he starts going off on, you know, what it should be called. He don't even know what the fuck to call things. You know, he calls pistons, you know, relief. You know, <laughs> release. <laughs> he doesn't... He doesn't even know, he didn't even know what to call fucking headlight bezels. You know how things that go around the fucking headlights? He doesn't even know the proper names of things. And he's dragging something into the conversation with this guy. It's got nothing to do with a fucking starter engaging a flywheel to turn the fucking engine over. And even then he wants to try to be confrontational with the fucking guy. Jobby, you're fucking lucky. Believe me, you're going to run into the wrong person one of these days. Uh, says, and then all of a sudden it goes private. Like, private, it went off, you saw, I, I guess he shut the video down, and apparently he did, he says, this was Jimmy, he says, uh, so a few hours later, I go back, I says, if I know Jobby, he, he won't leave well enough alone, something happened, you know he's gonna come back, sure as shit, he's back, laying in bed, he says, hey, he's got teddy bears and shit in his fucking bed, even his bed is all cluttered up like his yard, squalor, shit all over the fucking place, all fucking disorganized. Even in bed, he says, he's got fucking stuff, he had a fucking teddy bear in his fucking bed. I've had people tell me before, he's got stuffed animals on his bed and shit when he's laying there on his side because he can't fuck, he can't even sit up, he's all out of fucking breath. He says, and then, uh, and once again, he, 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 he's still getting irritated. I know there's people in here watching, how come nobody's saying nothing? How come I'm not getting any thumbs up? You know what you've been doing, Java? You have been documenting, right out here in public view, you have been documenting the downward spiral of your life. You've been documenting how you are incompetent, very incompetent when it comes to cars. You have been documenting how attention starves you are. You have been documenting how emotionally unstable you are. You yourself have been doing this, and you're going to continue to do it. You want to know why? Because you are what you are. And what you are is something you don't realize. You are your own worst enemy. You know? He says, and then he's laying in bed, and I was like, oh, and he said that uh, now when he goes to the senior center to get his, get his free lunches, now he's bringing free food home to be put in the fridge to eat for later. He says, then he sits up and he starts coughing and hacking and hacking. Hey, remember the other day? 
I had a good fucking phlegm ball in my throat. And it wasn't due to Uncle Brian Wiftus. I used to get my weekend. You know, uh, I paused it. I hawked up a woogie. Oh, yeah, and it was a big, juicy motherfucker, too. I hawked it up in a fucking tissue, went and got a tissue, hawked it up, wiped my mouth good, you know, washed my hands so I didn't have any woogies on my fucking hands to come back and touch my phone to hit the pause button so it would resume, you know what I mean? It's just right on, right on the fucking video. He's on the edge of the bed, and he's hacking and hacking, and he's gurgling and coughing up all kinds of fucking phlegm and mucus, and he says, it even, it sounded like he fucking even puked. He did that on a fucking video, but he's burped and fodded and everything else. The guy's got no class. He's a slob, a pig, you know? And then, uh, oh, he went off on another real full-blown mental meltdown yesterday, I heard, early in the morning. Now he's going to be suing people. People are going to be getting letters sent to them. A couple of guys on here that's posting his personal information. It's against the law. And uh, he's going to sue them. And uh, he says, even swore. He says, wow, he even said fuck a couple of times. He says, he was really fucking pissed off. Really going off his fucking nut. And he's been reporting them. He's going to report them. And from what I hear, I've had people tell me for a while, that a couple of, that Joe Madden, some other guy, that they've been reporting me. They report every one of my videos. Hey, guess what? I'm still here. How'd that work out for you? Huh? How's that working out for you? So now he's reporting them. And if they don't stop doing what they're doing, he's going to take legal action. Speaking of legal action, I heard he was bragging, all happy, proud of himself, because he found a way to get out of having to pay his credit card debt. Uh, they can't come after me because I'm on disability. I have protected funds. And that's true. There are certain creditors that cannot go after you if you're on disability or SSI. That's protected government funds. You know, so he's all happy. Now he's going to get to stiff someone else and not have to pay his fucking debts. The way he stiffed the fucking bank and his mortgage. However, surprise, that does not affect banks and mortgages. They can and will still foreclose on you. That is not protected under disability or SSI regardless of what Java wants to believe. Okay. Now we get to the fun part. Now we get to the fun part. He was, uh, so they, somebody said on one of his lives recently, how come he doesn't cut his grass, you know, with this lawn walk? How come he only walks around with a weed whacker when he's saying, ah, well, according to Java, now, you know, the property listing, I showed it from Zillow. I had the courtesy, I didn't have to, I had the courtesy of blocking out his address, even though I know exactly where he lives. City, street, and house number. Me personally, I didn't feel it was right to put that out, okay? And I'm a bad guy. Uh, they have to put this in the listing. It's required. All the specifications. Square footage, size, lot size. Amenities, how many baths, bedrooms, you know, things of that nature. 0.37 acres, only a little over, you know, a quarter acre. That's not a whole lot of land. But according to Java, you know, oh, I, I got a river that over here, I, I own past the river, and out there and out there. According to him, man, he owns half the fucking state of New Jersey, you know what I mean? And he doesn't. He has a very small piece of property there. What he has, they were so cluttered up with stuff, it makes it look even smaller. You know, but it's not squalor. You know, it's not squalor. Piles of this, piles of that. So fucking disorganized. It's a fucking mess because he's a pig in a slop. He don't even know how to clean up after himself. You know? I guess people have their own definition of squalor, living in squalor. I let him talk. Do yourself a favor. Just let him talk and then laugh. That's what I do. It's not worth taking him serious. He is not worth taking serious. You know, I'll tell you that right now. If you take him serious, you'll end up getting aggravated. This guy don't aggravate me. He just gives me a reason to fucking laugh. You know? He'll do all the work. He will do all the work for you. By making himself look more and more fucking bad shit crazy. With the things he says. And the things he does. Let him do it. Let him. 
enjoy it the way I do. <clears throat> now we get to cutting grass. Somebody says, hey, how come you use a lawnmower? He says, oh, I can. He says, I have a few lawnmowers. Are you sitting down? Jimmy says, Brian, I heard this. He said he has a few lawnmowers. He even has a brand new lawnmower. But he can't use any of them. Because there are animals out in his yard that chew up and eat the plastic gas tanks on them. So they all leak gas. So the reason he can't use any of his lawnmowers, even his brand new one, is because the gas tanks won't hold any gas. They all leak because there are wild animals on his property that are eating the plastic gas tanks on his lawnmowers. Well, we got a lot to do today. You know, we don't go mooch a free lunch, you know, any place or supper. You know, I said supper, wow, I'm slipping, man. Fuck, man, I should say supper. My Boston accent, I said supper. The fuck's wrong with me today? <laughs> so we gotta go grocery shopping, hit a few stores in the afternoon, and we'll be out with our friends tonight, as usual, Saturday night. So, hope you have fun today. Hope you stay safe. Hope you get to spend some time with family, friends, people that mean the most to you in your life, you know, and like, you know, you're pathetic, lonely, delusional, uh, character, like job, I don't know what, you'll probably be on here all fucking day again today, right, do another marathon, yeah, you'll spend, what, 20, 22 hours this week here doing videos and tell me I spend too much time on here because I spend an hour and a half, what are you going to do, what job I talk, that's what I do, I let him say whatever he wants to say, and I just comment on it, that seems to bother him a lot, hey Jabba, I know you're watching, how you doing buddy? Okay, have a great day, everyone. Have fun and stay safe.